take off to the 37th season here at Dollywood, but the park dates back all the way to 1961 until 1986 when it became Dollywood, of course, paying tribute to Dolly and her roots here in Sevier County. Of course, things have changed over time, but at that time even, Heather, as you found out, Dolly was a really big name in country music, but it was important to her that this park shows off her roots. Absolutely, and honestly, we also learned today that we're gonna get even more of that in the future with a whole Dolly experience that's gonna be added, so super excited about that. But it comes down to this, this piece of history her Tennessee mountain home. We've all heard the song about it. I was sitting here thinking about the lyrics, uh, hearing the, you know, the crickets in the field at night. And here I can hear her music playing and the, the theater they're performing and you're just surrounded by joy and music. And this is what you can come see. If you haven't been inside here, or maybe you've been running around the park on a hot summer day, which she talks about in that song too. You know, you, you don't really get to see this history, but also the scale. Right? She talks about her family and how tight knit they were because you know they were in tight quarters. But this is what it was. And actually it was great. The Dolly fo Dollywood folks here were telling me that her brother was really an integral part in really making this as accurate as possible. And that when Dolly saw it for the first time, I mean, it brought tears to her eyes, it made her cry. Because I'm sure just having this piece of her history you know, recreated here at the park was just absolutely amazing to her. But I wanted to come back out to the porch for a reason because as tight as that space just was, What's really neat is that Dolly said that, you know, on a hot summer night, it was so tight in there that they often like to sleep on the porch. So I thought that was just perfect that, you know, you still have that porch. Porch sitting is what we like to do around here. And it's so nice to kind of have that piece of her history right here in the park. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Dollywood. <laughs> this was always a dream when I was young, if I, if I did well, that I'd be able to do something like this to have a reason and a place to come and bring honor to my family. Don't let me get my wig hung in this. She has a, a warehouse as big as this thing full of dresses from the years. She saves all of her clothes. And uh, you know, each one was created for a specific event and then she archives it and keeps it uh, for maybe a museum or whatever. I didn't know how to dress for a special luncheon. How do you like what I got? She's got some great designers. Tony Chase was her uh, dress designer when wardrobe when, when we first met her, and he was famous for doing Liz Taylor's things and lots of others. And then Steve Summers now does them. Steve used to work with us here and gone on to work for her full time as, as her uh, wardrobe and stage designer. The process of designing stuff is, is always organic for, for me. Um, you know, Dolly's silhouette is very specific. Everybody in the entire world knows what her body looks like. Um, and I always am trying to do a clean look that is, it showcases her personality. A lot of nice people here oh, in Dollywood say, today. Yeah. Dolly might be the celebrity, but you're a pretty close second. <laughs> it's fun when people are nice, I'll tell you that. We got a lot more.